Your doctor has recommended that you undergo surgery to repair your ruptured Achilles tendon. But what does that actually mean? Your Achilles tendon is the connection between the heel and the most powerful muscle group in the body. It is the strongest, largest, and thickest tendon in the body. It begins in the mid-leg and descends to the heel. Unfortunately, the Achilles tendon is extremely susceptible to acute and chronic injury because of the demands it withstands. When it ruptures, patients feel a pop and may feel that they've been struck from behind. This is often followed by weakness and pain. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table, where you'll be placed in a prone position with your legs supported. In the operating room, the anesthesiologist will begin to administer anesthesia, either general or regional. The surgeon will then apply antiseptic solution to the skin around the area where the incision will be made. Place a sterile drape around the operative site. After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, an incision will be made in the long axis of the ankle over the injured tendon. The incision is carried down through the skin, exposing the underlying tendon sheath. The sheath is then opened to reveal the tendon itself and the contained damaged Achilles tendon. The damaged portion of the tendon is then cut away, taking as little tissue as possible, but cutting back to strong, viable tendon fibers. The surgeon weaves sutures through the tendon fibers in a pattern designed to hold with good strength. Then the two tendon ends are pulled into contact and tied securely. Finally, the incisions are closed with sutures. After sterile dressings are applied, a well-padded splint will be fitted.